We are looking over here at a very interesting hyperbolic integral. What do I have from 0 to 1? Hyperbolic cosine x plus hyperbolic sine x all to the power of 3 dx. How can we do it? It's not too difficult. There's an identity which will help you out through this. Look at this identity. If you have anything which looks like hyperbolic cosine x, you can even have a coefficient right here with the x. It wouldn't impact the identity in any way. But here, this is what we have, all to the power of n. This right here is always equal to e to the power of nx. Then this is what gets integrated. Why is this equal to that? Look, you'll bring in the n value and feed in through your functions. And it would be something like this, cosine hyperbolic of nx, and likewise hyperbolic sine of nx. See, now you've gotten rid of the exponent, you've incorporated it into your function. Then you would run the n value to the definitions of these two hyperbolic functions. You would have here e to the power of nx plus e to the power of minus nx all over 2 plus then this definition will run through the n value e to the nx minus e to the minus nx over 2. You have a common denominator. Just add everything across. These two items would cancel out. But then you have two similar items which would double 2 e to the power of nx divided by your denominator 2. These cancel out and you end up with that. I'm seeing here an n value of 3 which means in essence my integral simplifies to what? e to the power of 3x dx. You know this is easy. Antiderivative here is going to be 1 over 3 e to the power of 3x and then you're going to feed in your limits. Upper limit, lower limit, the difference of the two and the beauty of this is we'll get an exact value. I'll have 1 over 3 e to the power of 3 minus e to the power of 0 which is a 1. This here can serve as your answer or you can just say like this. I have e cubed minus 1 over 3 this here is our end result. It will be correct. Keep in mind this fundamental hyperbolic identity helps you through. When you're looking at something like this, it becomes e to the power of nx, and this is very easy to integrate. e cubed minus 1 over 3 is perfect answer, and I'm happy with it.